Okay, so here we have Nalan from the big southern woods nursery in Christchurch. Yes, Timberlands yep. in Christchurch. Yeah, indeed. So how, how's your day been so far? Day, day is good, actually. Uh, so many people to speak to. Um, so I haven't, I've only done about a quarter of the rounds. All right. And, uh, but, yeah, keep going too. So it's good. It's, I think it's a great turnout. And uh, although it's bucketing down outside, it's yeah. good, good, good response. Lots of interest and uh, lots of enthusiasm in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of positives. Showing anything specifically or just the samples of your whole range here today? No, a small representation of what we have. Uh, yes. A small, small site. So we just had to make do and, and uh, feature some of the important ones, but uh, okay. probably a, a small representation here. Good. Lovely stock that you have got here, though. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, a, a cooler growing season, not not a warm season this year, yes. but I think the uh, the pl plants are close to expectation of growth. And okay. Growth. Now um, we've had quite a few days of rain here, haven't we? Pretty yes. heavy. But you're one of the ones who says that's a good idea. It's it's great. We, we've had uh, two years of low rainfall, below average. Uh, the, the the most rainfall we had above average was in 214. So. This is, this is fantastic. It can rain for a month. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> rain for a month. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a return to more normal conditions? It is. For this part yeah. of the world? I, I think it's going from a El Nino to a La Nina. Uh -huh. Hoping. Yeah. So hopefully we get a more defined weather pattern, uh, regular snow in the winter and a, and a good spring and, and cooler winters with good frost. That, that's what we like, actually. But the, mm. All right. Now, I know your nursery's been... Uh, going through quite a, a refurbishment caused by the realignment of the highway outside. Correct. And, um, um, included in that has been some new structures and sheds and houses. Yes, yes. Yep. And I think you were telling me that a little incident slowed yes, down. Yes, so we, we had a we had an early visitor before we opened our <laughs> shop and the office. Um, the, the, the poor driver had a, had a heart attack and uh, were driving on, heading north on State Highway 1 and um, drove about 500 meters, luckily without hitting anything, but ended up uh, to a grinding halt when he hit, hit our, our new office and shed, which was getting built. So um, a, a good, uh, so a lucky thing, no one got hurt, but it, was, um, it, it wasn't, a, <laughs> it was something in my wildest dream I ever thought was going to happen. So he came through the wall of the shed and ended up in the shed, in, right. his, in his car. Yeah, smashed the old kitchen. <laughs> so it's good we get a new kitchen now. Uh, and the entire ute ended what up inside. What legs you go to to get a new kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of pain. <laughs> so but he was okay, he stumbled out of the vehicle. He actually can't remember anything that happened. Yeah. Uh, walked out of the ute um, um, all dazed and, and wasn't injured at all. So uh, uh, very lucky that way, for yeah. fortunate. And it was uh, about 6 o'clock at night. <clears throat> six, yes, yeah, so luckily no one, was, no one was working. The, the cleaners have arrived to clean our old office and they've sort of um, witnessed ambulances and, and police cars uh, in the new premises and wondering what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, so, no. yeah, it was a it was I a think surprise. you said it uh, made a bit of an impression on you, the, the unexpectedness of such an event. Yeah, so I, I, no, it's always, uh, I recommend just, just ensure your buildings and properties, no matter whether you're using it or not, because you never know what happens. You just don't know. Yeah. And it wasn't just structural damage, the um, underground, the, the what, power and... Uh, it, it took out uh, water lines, um, power to the shed, um, and actually and sustained some structural damage as well. So, yeah, 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 quite a few. So, so yeah, uh, even if you use it or not, I recommend uh, have a look at all your insurances and make sure you're well covered. <laughs> Now you've also, um, just to finish off, you open seven days now with your we, retail yes, front Yes, uh, since uh, 8th of August uh, 2016. Oh, okay. um, due to customer demand, uh, reluctantly we opened seven days. We, we really wanted a, a day, a Sunday, to have a break, but uh, it's actually purely customer driven. We, we are trying seven days. It's been well received. Uh, particularly through our busy season that starts now and finishes about uh, mid-November. Mid it's, mm. it's well received. It's, it's just catering to today's customer. Uh, today's customer expects it to be open seven days, um, about 10 hours a day, and, and we, we basically address that. So, okay. Uh, oh, well, 
you you hard workers anyway. Yeah. Thank, thanks, thanks, sir. Thanks for talking Thank to you. us, Naaman, and bringing us up to date with all of that. Fantastic. Oh, all See the you best. Bye. <laughs>